discussion and brief layout of where the uh, maintenance points on the row units are. Um, there are five grease zerks on the, on the, the pivot pins on the row unit. Um, one is down right in front of the row unit. There's one on the top side in front of the airbag. There's one at the rear of the airbag. There's one above the gauge wheel and there's one on the front of the containment culture tube. All those should be receiving grease on a daily basis. Um, next, there are two additional grease zerks on the, the row cleaner blades if your machine is equipped with those. So you wanna be paying special attention to those. Um, upon greasing, you wanna be paying attention to um, nuts and bolts to make sure all those are tight. Any cracking on any of the fixtures on the row unit, you wanna be taking, taking note of uh, missing paint, any stress marks, anything like that. Um, next, you wanna be looking at the gauge wheel, the tillage coulters and the containment coulters all have, have oil bath seals in them. You wanna be paying attention to those seals and making sure that those seals are holding the oil and not leaking at all. Um, any wet spots, any oil dripping down the face of the coulters or the gauge wheels would be an indication that those seals may need um, additional attention. Next, we're gonna go through a simple spin test on the containment and tillage coulters. Um, this is done by grabbing the coulter at a two o'clock location, firmly grasping and rotating through. If the coulter spins more than a turn and a half, um, it would be subject to preload adjustment. If it does happen to turn less than three quarters of a turn, it would be showing signs that the preload is probably too tight and would need to be backed off a little bit. Um, once again, two o'clock location, spin firmly in a downward motion. You wanna keep track of the rotations. We wanna be looking for a coulter spinning in that range of one rotation. Next, we'll be checking the oil on the oil on the 1143 hubs. Um, that is done in a manner where we're using a pick to clean out the dirt and debris around the hole. We don't wanna be contaminating our hubs with, uh, with any dirt or sand. Any foreign objects will lead to um, bearing and possibly hub failure. Uh, we're gonna remove that plug with a quarter inch Allen, uh, Allen wrench. Plug is removed. And keep in mind, you wanna keep the, the hub at a, either a three o'clock or nine o'clock location to prevent oil from, from running out. Um, upon the plug removal, we're just gonna capture a, a little sample. I usually use my finger. You wanna be smelling the oil. If it's smelling burnt, um, you wanna look for if the oil is, uh, has a bright silvery um, texture that might indicate that you might have uh, um, some metallic metallic uh, element in there, which would be a uh, precursor of bearing or hub failure. So you'd wanna be addressing that hub by taking it apart and replacing some of those items. Thanks for watching this service video. Call Environmental Tillage Systems with any questions or to order parts. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to view more videos. Find additional information on SoilWarrior.com.